What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to show how to find the ortho center of a triangle, and we're going to use coordinate geometry. So we have triangle ABC, and here are the points for each vertex. So we'll plot them first. A is at negative 3, 3, so that's up here. Point B is at negative 1, 7, so we're going left 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the last point C is at 3, 3, so that's going to be over here. So now when we connect this, this gives us our triangle, and I'm going to try to draw this a little bit nicer. So here is, here is triangle ABC. And the first thing we need to do is write the equation of each altitude of the triangle. So that means we're going to be writing the equation of three lines. And the easiest one to do is the vertex through point B. And the reason why I think this is the easiest is because side AC is horizontal. So if I need to write the equation of a line perpendicular to a horizontal line, then we're writing the equation of a vertical line. And the equation of a vertical line is in the form of x equals a number. And the number that we go with for x is the location that the vertical line crosses on the x-axis, which is at negative 1. So that tells us x equals negative 1 is our equation. But if I wanted to be 100% sure that AC is horizontal, I could find the slope of segment AC by doing the difference of the y values, which gives us 3 minus 3, divided by the difference of the x values, negative 3 minus 3, gives us 0 over negative 6 which is equal to zero. So since the slope of AC is zero, then AC is definitely horizontal, so the perpendicular line is vertical, which guarantees that X equals negative one is an altitude of this triangle. So now we'll focus in on another point, and let's say now we're looking at A. Well, the trick to finding the exact slope is I look at the opposite side where the altitude is going, and it's going to side BC. And the slope of side BC, if I use rise over run, is going to be negative 1 because you see how it's going down 1 to the right 1 like this. So we could say here that the slope of side BC is equal to negative 1, and I could use the slope formula here, but that will verify this actual slope. But the slope that we need is going to be a slope of a line that's perpendicular to side BC like this. So when I want to find the slope of the line that's perpendicular, I take the original slope, which I'll call negative 1 over 1, and I find the opposite reciprocal. So I flip this to 1 over 1, and then I change the sign from negative to positive. So the slope that we need for our perpendicular line is positive 1. And if I use that slope of positive 1 starting at A, see I go up 1 to the right 1, you could see that this is going to form a line that's perpendicular to side BC. So this is, in fact, the correct slope we need for the altitude to side BC. And this is going to help us answer the rest of the question. So now all we need here is we need to know what is the equation of the line that is modeled here. And what we could use is the equation y equals mx plus b, where m, remember, is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. So notice, since we're starting at point A, and A is at negative 3, 3, so this is the coordinates for A, if we need to find the y-intercept, we're going up 1 over 1 until we get to the y-axis. And this is hitting the y-axis, the blue line, at 4, 5, 6. So our y-intercept for this question is 6, and the slope that we need is positive 1. So now the equation of the altitude through point A is just going to be y equals 1x plus 6, or just y equals x plus 6. So now the last one to look at is we need to find the altitude going through point C. So we look to the opposite side, AB, and notice here the slope of AB. It's looking like positive 2 since we're going up 2 over 1 like this. But if we want to be 100% precise, we're finding the slope of, of line segment AB. So we're doing the difference of the y values. we got 7 minus 3 divided by negative 1 minus this x value is negative 3. So we find the slope. We have 4 over, and this works out to positive 2. 4 over 2 is equal to 2. So the slope of AB is, in fact, positive 2. So the slope of the line perpendicular to AB, we're going to take the negative reciprocal of positive 2. So just think of this as 2 over 1 for a moment. And if we flip that, it's going to make 1 half. And if we change the sign, it's going to become negative. So now if we use that slope of negative 1 half, we're going down 1 to the right 2. Or if we want to go backwards, we're going up one to the left two like this. And notice the orange, blue, and green line are all, are all intersecting at the same point. And that point of intersection is the orthocenter, which is going to help us for the last part of this question. So here is the last altitude drawn in. 
And we just have to write the equation of this altitude that we just found in green. So the slope that we need is negative 1 half, and the point that it's passing through is point C, which is at 3, 3. So the last way that we'll do this is we'll actually use the point slope form equation. We'll use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 to write the equation of our line. Remember, this one is going through point C, where point C was 3, 3. So this is going to act as our x1, y1. So now we just plug all that stuff in. We have y minus 3 equals the slope is negative 1 half times x minus x1 is also equal to 3. So this gives us y minus 3 equals negative 1 half x plus 3 over 2. So then we're just going to add 3 to both sides. But we're going to call 3 6 divided by 2 on this side so that we have common denominators so we could combine like terms. So now to simplify this, negative 3 plus 3 cancels, and we have y equals negative 1 half x plus 9 over 2. And this is the equation for the last altitude, the altitude going through point C. So the last thing we need to do for this question is we need to find the point, find the coordinates of the orthocenter, which is the intersection of the three altitudes. Now we could just use the graph here and notice it's intersecting at negative 1, 5. So the location of this intersection, the orthocenter, is looking like negative 1, 5. But if we want to be really formal about this, we could use the three equations. We had x equals negative 1. So we had x equals negative 1. We had y equals x plus 6. And then we also had y equals negative 1 half x plus 9 halves. And we could treat this like a system of equations and solve for the point of intersection for all three of these lines. Now, let's say we do this the slightly more complicated way. And we set x plus 6 equal to negative 1 half x plus 9 halves. We were claiming before that negative 1 5 was the orthocenter. We'll see this is going to give us that exact answer. So we could solve for this by adding 1 half x to both sides. And we could also subtract 6 on both sides. But on this side, we'll call it 12 divided by 2. So these values will cancel out the negative 1 half x plus and the 6 minus 6. Now this is 1 x plus 1 half x. And think of this as 2 divided by 2. So this gives us 3 over 2x. So once again, I'll just think of this as 2 divided by 2 like this. That way we could add the fractions together. And on this side, I have 9 over 2 minus 12 over 2, which is negative 3 over 2. So if we divide both sides by 3 halves, you see these values are just equal but opposite. This tells us x equals negative 1. And now I could plug x equals negative 1 into any of those equations. If I plug it into the second equation, we have y equals negative 1 plus 6, which tells us y is equal to 5, which is supporting this. If I plug it into the last equation, I have negative 1 half times negative 1 plus 9 halves, which gives us 1 half plus 9 halves. And that gives you 10 over 2, which is also equal to 5. So this is checking out here and here. And if I plug x equals negative 1 into the first equation, this just tells me negative 1 equals negative 1. So negative 1, 5 is a point on all three of these lines. So negative 1, 5 is the orthocenter of triangle ABC. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on finding the orthocenter of a triangle. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.